Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. So in this video, we will explore the font group, which is available in the home tab in Microsoft PowerPoint. So we will explore uh, most of the features available in the font group. So let's get start. So I have a placeholder on my slide where it's written click to add title. So I will, let's say I will write my name, Raheem Zulfikar Ali. Okay, and we will do all the demonstration uh, of the features in the font group available here. So as these, almost all these features are same uh, when we use Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word, but there are few things which are different from these two applications as compared to Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. So, when I click on this B button, which is called the bold button, the shortcut key is also can be easily seen when I hover my cursor on this button, control B. So it's, it's similar to the other applications as well. Bold, italic and underline. These are different kind of font styles. You can also change the font uh, as well. So there are a lot of different kind of fonts available here. And as you know that as a professional, you have some standard fonts like Calibri, Century Gothic, Times New Roman, Arial. Uh, you don't use the designing or very bold kind of formats until you uh, prepare a different kind of presentation uh, in the academics. But as a professional, you have to use some three to four standard fonts, uh, which are easy to read and simple in nature. So there are a lot of fonts available. You can change the font size as well. You can see that uh, when I hover my cursor on any of the number of here in the size uh, on the back, there is a live preview, um, which which is uh, available in the latest features. So it's, it's very easy to uh, understand and analyze that what kind of the best suitable number or font or any other feature will be look like on our slides so i have not click on any of the number here but this is this is preview is called a live preview right then we have uh, increase font size and decrease font size buttons as well so if we want to increase the font size with some some numbers we can just click on it and then we have a uh, clear all formatting button uh, uh, a with an eraser so when I click on it, it will definitely go to the previous one, previous kind of font, a default font, right? Oh, all right, so then we have um, another feature in the font group that is called strike through, which will definitely draw a line in the center of the text. So, right, it's just like I have cut that text. Then we have uh, one more feature in the font group, which is called the character spacing. And that's very interesting. So there are different kind of character spacing available. Very tight, tight, normal. So by default, you can see that uh, a check mark has been placed on a normal. Then we have loose and then very loose. So when I hover my mouse, you can see a preview of different kind of character spacing uh, applied by this feature. And if you go to more spacing, you can add or less number from this font dialog window as well. You can also select the font, entire font, and then you can also apply the text highlight color as well. So there are different kind of text highlight colors available. Uh, right, so there are 15 colors available and there is also no color if you want to go back. And there definitely there is also a font color as well. So there are a lot of font colors available and you can also use the eyedropper so if you have any object, you can just click on eyedropper and get that exact color you want to have on your text as well. So eyedropper is, is another feature available in the latest versions of Microsoft PowerPoint. Or you can go to more colors and if you know the uh, combination of RGB, you can use that combination and get that exact color from this uh, colors dialog window. There is one more feature which is called text shadow. So when you click on uh, this, S button, which is text shadow. So a, a shadow is, is being added on your this particular text. 
So we have explored all the available features in, in the font group of Home tab in Microsoft PowerPoint application. And I hope you have understood that some of them are similar as compared to Excel and Word, but some of the uh, font features were different. And these are only available in Microsoft PowerPoint to make some, make our presentation more attractive. Thank you.